Hey guys, it's Sierra, and today I'm vlogging. I am in LA right now at the Topanga Mall, and I'm super excited. Um, I told my husband this year for Mother's Day, I just wanted to come to the mall and go shopping um, because there is a Chanel boutique within a Nordstrom here, and there's also a Louis Vuitton store. So I'm really excited. I just parked. Um, I'm with the little munchkin, and um, I also <laughs> just got the best parking spot and I just got so excited. I literally was like shouting in my car. People probably thought I was crazy, but check this parking spot out. I'm gonna flip the camera so you can see. Check out this parking spot. I'm literally right in front of the entrance. I mean, this doesn't happen in LA. It's a good sign, my friends. Shopping will be good today. All right, let's go. This is what shopping with a baby looks like. We have my enormous store, diaper bag, bottle bag. accessory ones are downstairs and take two this is the more fun level of Nordstrom anyways because there's the shoes and all the makeup and handbags so we're gonna go. here we go Tallulah this is Tallulah's first time in Chanel oh thank you it comes also with the gold one So I just tried on a maxi and it was so gorgeous. I loved it. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to the cosmetics counters now. So this is the dip tea counter. I just tried on um, this rose and it is so good. Oh, I love it. And they have a roller ball too, which I like. And I smell the tobacco and the vanilla. And it's really good. I'm surprised. I didn't think that I would like it. Um, but it was really nice. It's really going to smell it again. Oh, that is amazing. I wish I didn't like it so much because it's really expensive. But wow, that is amazing. I would put some on, but I just put on the rose. This wall reminds me of Eva in the city because she just filmed a video and I think she actually got these. I think, Eva, did you get this blue one? And look, there's this whole huge wall. Oh, look, there's one that says Highline. I love that. Such fun bottles. And then over here, there's a whole new counter. And these are all fun bubbles too. I am having some fun in the fragrance section. All my Jo Malone fans. Look how pretty this is. Now we are walking to Louis Vuitton and um, then maybe grabbing some lunch. And yeah, I'm not sure. We might 
do a couple other things. Um, I feel like since I drove all the way down here, like I should stay here for longer, but I don't really want to go clothes shopping because I've gained a lot of weight recently. You can probably tell on camera because it's like, um, but so I don't really want to try and close, even though I saw the, um, the Zara upstairs. I just don't really, I'm just like not in the mood. I feel like that'll just ruin my day. You know what I mean? You know how like if you just try and close and then all of a sudden you're like, oh crap, this is what my body looks like. So I don't want this fun day to be brought down. So I don't think I'm going to try and close. Um, so maybe I'll go to Sephora or I might go back to Nordstrom and um, go back to the makeup counters a little more. I did want to try on some, um, oh jeez, the way this is noisy. Um, I did want to try on some um, Tom Ford lipstick, so, but they all looked super scazzy. So I was like, uh, even if you sanitize that, I'm not going to put that on my lips. I'm not even going to put that on my hand. So, um, yeah, just walking over the time. So, I have no idea where I am. I usually come to this mall with my husband, and this is the mall that he came to growing up, so he knew it like the back of his hand. And there's like two parts to the mall. There's like an old part, and then they built on a new part, and I pretty much know the new part. Um, so, kind of just wandering, and people are staring at me because I'm vlogging. And I'm sorry if this is really shaky, and if I'm not looking at the camera, this is my first time like really, really vlogging. Um, and yeah, it definitely takes some getting used to. You definitely have to just not care what anyone around you is thinking. So, oh, I've spotted Louis Vuitton. See you in a mo. So we're just stopping for a little bottle break. And Tallulah chose a lovely spot in front of Louis Vuitton and this is actually a really really beautiful spot. okay so I've tried to film a few times and then I keep realizing that it's not filming because my storage is full on my phone which my husband would be so not really pissed but pissed he gets like irate because I have like the biggest storage six plus iPhone that you can possibly get. I have like a million gigs and it's always full because he says I don't use it properly. <laughs> He's like, you should download things to your computer or blah, blah, blah. But I always have like 50 million videos and photos and who knows what on my phone. And so it's always full and he's always just exasperated with me. So yeah, I can only hear him just being like, oh my God, your phone storage is full right now. Um, but anyways, we are taking a little break. Um, Tallulah and I, she is pretending to eat, but not actually eating. She's just kind of being a stinker and laying here. Um, we are right in front of Louis Vuitton. And yeah, I'm just waiting for her to eat and then we're gonna go inside. Um, I'm gonna give you a little, I'm gonna flip the camera around and give you a little like tour of where I'm sitting because it's a really um, fun part of the mall. So, bye. Okay, so right behind me you have Tiffany's. Um, down that corridor is Neiman's, which I've never been to and I'm gonna go to after Louis Vuitton. So I'm excited about that. There is Louis Vuitton. Very beautiful entrance. It's really nice and light where I'm sitting. There is Jimmy Choo, Cartier. And I'm about to drop my phone on my baby's head. So we're gonna There we go. I had a bad night. <laughs> So Cartier and um, Burberry, Salvatore, Little Lula wants to be carried, so I'm not sure how well I'm going to be able to vlog inside of Louis Vuitton, but I will try and take pictures of anything that I try on and insert them here. So I'm just seeing the twice for the first time in person. There's the Noir. I don't know what that color is called, but it's white. And then there's um, the up here. And it's really beautiful, but it's a lot smaller than I thought in person. It always looks a lot bigger in videos. So just another good reason to come to the store when you're looking for things to purchase. And these are cute. I think this is the palace clutch. It's really cute. So I'm just like 
trying on glasses while I was waiting for someone to help me because there's a lot of people in here and not a lot of sales associates, which is fine. Um, so I saw these glasses, put them on, and I loved them. Like, I'm dying. I love these so much. These are so fabulous. And then I take them off and realize there's this like subtle glittery shimmer, like just this secret, you know, glitter that only you would see. Oh my god, I'm in a lot of trouble, you guys. I need these. They're so fantastic. What am I gonna do? So I feel like I'm in an episode of Pretty Woman right now because I've been sitting here for like 20 minutes and no one's helping me and they just keep helping other people that are thin and pretty and rich and I'm literally about to walk out. I'm really pissed off. So this vlog has taken a turn for the ugly. So I just walked out of Louis Vuitton. Um, I'm pretty pissed right now. Um, yeah, I basically walked in there and um, walked around for a while, looked at things. Um, I have a box with me because I wanted to see how much it would cost to fix the glazing on my Coreuse wallet. Um, I mean, I know this should not matter, but you know, I'm rocking my Louis Vuitton Empreinte Speedy. So it's like, I clearly have purchased a Louis Vuitton item before. And I feel like because I was with an enormous stroller, I also feel like because I'm kind of overweight and don't look fashionable, literally no one helped me. Um, I sat at the front, I made eyes with people, and they would be like, oh, I'll help you in just a minute. Someone will help you in just a minute. And then they would help other people that walked in before me. Like, I'm not even joking, five or six people walked in after I was there and were helped before I was. So I'm pretty pissed right now. I just almost dropped the F-bomb and I promised myself I wouldn't on YouTube. That's how upset I am right now. I just feel like this is everyone's worst nightmare about luxury shopping and you know, I drove all the way to LA, like I was really excited for this super fun day. Like I was literally gonna drop a lot of money in there just then. I was gonna buy those sunglasses and a multi-cart wallet and now I'm kind of just like, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go on the website and buy it and um, I kind of have a bad taste in my mouth for Louis Vuitton in general right now. So I'm not gonna let this ruin my day though because I drove all the way down here. This is my Mother's Day treat. I'm with my daughter and you know what? I'm not gonna let it bother me. I'm, I've released my anger. I'm sorry that you guys had to take the brunt of that. So you know what? Whatever, screw it. I'm gonna go to Neiman's, I'm gonna have fun and then we're gonna have lunch and maybe I'll buy those sunglasses and multi-cart online later. Oh my God, what is with all the noisy cards? Anyways, um, yeah, so if this has ever happened to you before, like I totally feel for you now because like I said, I totally felt like Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman when they wouldn't serve her and then she, like I kind of want to like order stuff online and then come here with my bags and just be like, big mistake, huge, huge. I am Julia Roberts. So now I'm going into Neiman's and I'm hoping that people will be nice to me in there and not treat me like they did in Louis Vuitton. We'll see. All right, so Neiman's saved the trip. <laughs> um, I cooled down a little bit from dropping my F-bomb and um, I got just two silly things that I don't even need, but I kind of just needed to do a little bit of retail therapy shopping after that bad experience. Um, right now I'm going to go into Gucci and then I'm going to go into Burberry and train a scarf and then I think get some food because I'm starving. I've seen a lot of people with this Gucci print lately, which is fabulous, and I love it. Oh, phone case. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, but what I just saw was this combination, which the color is just not showing up. It's a little bit better. So, hey guys. So back in the car. Um, I'm waiting for this little stinker to drink a bottle before we hit the road and go home. Um, 
not the day I was expecting today. Um, I think this may go down as the vlog where I drop the F-bomb on my channel. Um, I may edit that out actually. I'm kind of embarrassed now because now that like I've had time to sit and think about it, like it, it just doesn't matter. None of it matters, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm annoyed that I was treated so rudely, but my life is so much bigger than that, than, you know, those people who chose to be rude to me and whatever. So, um, yeah, so we're just hanging out. I'm going to feed her. Um, I did get a couple things, like nothing that exciting, um, but maybe I'll show you anyways. It will require you seeing my extremely dirty car. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's Mother's Day today and we are at the Bacara for brunch um, with the family. The boys are off exploring the hotel and this is a really, really beautiful hotel so I'm excited. Um, I've never had brunch here before. And yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys about all the handbags I tried on yesterday, um, or two days ago rather. Um, and so I think maybe I'll do that later tonight, um, but I just wanted to say hello and show you this really beautiful hotel that we're in right now. It's like kind of Spanish style. It's really, really beautiful. There's like, I don't think you can see, but there's like a fireplace right behind me. There it is really really pretty so I hope everyone's having a wonderful Mother's Day um, spending time with your family and I will talk to you guys again really soon about my handbags hopefully later tonight so um, yeah bye hey guys so I just filmed a couple videos and one of them I did a lymphatic drainage massage and I used um, one of my cleansing oils so I took off my makeup and as I was in the bathroom afterwards, washing it off, I was just like, God, I wanted to film an ending to my vlog and I totally forgot. So today is Wednesday and I started filming the vlog last Friday. So I was just like, makeup be damned, we're finishing this vlog. And so that means me with no makeup in my snuggly little blanket. Um, I'm drinking some water out of my new favorite water bottle. I actually got this from Neiman's when I went shopping on Friday and I was just looking at it laughing because it's so big, which is why I like it, but it kind of reminds me of like you know, like the little brown jug, like from back in the days when people would drink like their moonshine. <laughs> I don't know why I just thought of that, but anyways. <laughs> so, vlog, last week. So I went shopping last week, and as you will have seen by now, had a little bit of an, an incident at Louis Vuitton, got my temper a little bit raised. Um, yeah, so... What else? What did I want to talk about? Oh, I just wanted to kind of chit chat about the handbags I tried on and kind of like what I think about them now and where I'm at with handbags. So the first one I tried on was the Chanel Maxi because they didn't have a jumbo. And um, I think as I mentioned, I was really hoping that I was going to try it on and kind of think like, oh, this isn't the bag for me. And that totally did not happen. It is gorgeous. I am probably even more under its spell, if that's possible at all. Um, but I did realize, and through like the last week or so of like really handbag soul searching, um, it's just not the bag for me now. It will be someday, but it's not now. So that has kind of been put on the back burner, even though I am still as in love um, and then I tried on the Gucci Soho Disco, which I was like, literally I was about to buy sight unseen because I was just like, I love that bag. It's crossbody, you know, it's perfect for me and I still love it. I think it's so cute, but I tried it on. I loved how it looked on, but one of the con that I, um, heard in several videos was that it's kind of harder to open and that you kind of have to hold the bag while you pull the zipper. And that was probably like the first thing I noticed about the bag is when I opened it up, like it was kind of, an, I mean, it's not like the end of the world annoying, but it was, it was just harder to get in it than I would have liked. And I typically am a person that I don't 
snap or zip my bags ever. Um, I don't live in a big city. If I'm traveling, I might do that, but, um, you know, I just, I don't need to do that. And so this is a bag that like, it's so small that if you didn't really zip it, things could fall out. And so you probably would want to zip it a little more often. And so the fact that the zipper was just like mildly annoying, it kind of put me off of it. Um, so I think that that might be off my list. I don't know. I, cause it's so cute. I love it. And I love that it's small, but yet it can still totally pack a punch and you can fit a lot of stuff in there. So hi, catchy. This is what he does. He comes and he just rubs his head all over your head. This is how he loves people. He's probably going to do a doozy on my hair, but, um, anyways, so I think that that might be off my list as well. Um, again, I, I love it. I think it's beautiful. I just, I don't know if that zipper part, you know, so that's kind of on the back burner slash off the list for now. Um, then I tried on a couple of YSL bags and those were just like, I mean, love them and leave them catchy. Jeez. Anyways, so I tried in a couple YSL bags, which had really not been on my radar at all, and I loved those bags. Loved. I still can't stop thinking about one of them. Um, so yeah, they're they're just like a little bit above my price range, though. Um, so I don't know, though. I feel like I can't stop thinking about the. I don't know what it was called. I think it was called the the boyfriend bag or the collage bag. I'm not sure. Um anyways, I'll I've posted a picture on Instagram. I'd I'd say I'll insert a picture here, but I don't know how and I just have to post this vlog, so I don't have time to figure it out right now. But anyways, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm Sierra Elizabeth Six and I posted a picture of it and it had kind of like it was all black but the quilting was kind of like in chevrons and it's just beautiful, just beautiful. And I love kind of the thick chunky chain that went on your shoulder. Um, so yeah, I, I kind of can't get that out of my head. So that might be on my longer term list. We'll see. So I basically left thinking, um, that I was going to get on the wait list for a certain bag and that that was going to be the bag for me. And then kind of another bag came onto my radar and I kind of started thinking about it and I kind of realized that that's probably the bag for me. An interesting thing to note, which I have pointed out in another video that I just shot. Um, so if you guys haven't picked up on this already, I typically will just shoot like five videos in a row because that's like usually the only time that I can find the time to do it and that I'll have makeup on and look semi-presentable, which I obviously don't right now, but, um, yeah, usually I'll just shoot a bunch of videos at once. So that's why if like you hear me saying the same thing over and over in videos, it's because I've just been talking about it. I'm not actually like, I don't know, like I think a couple times I've said like, oh yeah, I was just traveling and someone was like, oh, have fun on your trip. And I'm like, oh, I've been back for three weeks, you know, like, Anyways, I'm so tired. I don't even know what I'm saying. But yeah, what was I saying? I literally don't even know, you guys. I should probably end this vlog now. So yeah, I'm getting a new bag. That's the whole, that's, that's the whole point of this whole story is that I just bought a new bag. And um, yeah, I'm very excited and I'll be showing you guys soon. And um I had a lot of fun shopping last week and vlogging, although, like I said, I totally suck at vlogging because it took me almost a full week to film an outro, and now that I'm filming it, I'm so tired and congested that I don't even think I make sense, but at this point, I just gotta post it, or it's just gonna never happen, so. <laughs> uh, yay, vlogging with Sierra. Good times, guys. All right. I'm going to put myself to bed. Me and my little blue jug, we're going to bed. And I hope that you guys are doing well. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.